Are you living by faith or by projected fear? What's the difference? Projected fear is fear that doesn't even belong to you. It's when you allow the fear, the limiting beliefs, the negativity, the thoughts of other people to stop you dead in your tracks from doing what God has already told you to do. It's when you allow the opinions of man to tell you that you have limited resources, that you're running out of time, that it won't work, that it is impossible. But yet those aren't fears that belong to you. The Bible declares that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power love and a sound mind. Today it stops. We walk by faith and not by sight and we allow the first word that God gave us. We allow that to empower us today that we will walk in what we heard, not in what we see, and we will ignore the voices and the sounds of the naysayers. Can I pray with you today? Let's pray. Gracious God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother and my sister in Christ, the ones who are battling and fighting against the voices of the negative people, who are fighting against projected fears of people, maybe on their job, in their family, maybe close friends who might mean well, but they are bringing them down because of their own projected fears, maybe because of situations and circumstances and dreams that died in their life. But I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you have blessed them with a vision they have heard your voice and I pray that you would bless them to act on it. Activate them right now, God. Give them what they need. I pray that you would bless them with courage, God. Courage that is beyond their understanding. I thank you for whatever vision, whatever plan, whatever dream that you've birthed on the inside of them, Lord God, that it will come to pass, that they will no longer, they will no longer be bombarded by the negativity of other people. Today, they are breaking free. Let your soul spirit shake them and surround them God and give them what they need to break past every yoke of bondage concerning fear in their life. You've given them the victory, Lord God. You've already given them your word through your voice. And I pray today that as the vision you've given them to bless other people, to bless even their own lives, it will not die because of fear. We thank you for what is already being done. In Jesus' name, amen.